Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Red Flood. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalev, and right now we're playing as Socialist Iran. Now, we're doing a couple focuses here. We got some comms to go through, but I did already do moderate industrialization. Persia is not only regressive socially and politically, but economically as well. What little industry we have was built primarily for the benefit of the British and exists solely to extract oil. Despite the need to rapidly industrialize, we simply don't have the manpower resources to permit a large scale industrialization effort. Therefore, we must not only carefully pick which industry to develop in advance, but also ensure that we don't get in over our heads with ridiculously optimistic goals. Next up, we'll establish Agarian syndicates. Centuries ago, the various empires which have based themselves out of Persia did so on the backs of the numerous farmers that tilled her rich soil since the Bronze Age. Unfortunately, the technology has improved much since then, and we possess a primitive agricultural system reliant on muscle. Having collectivized agricultural land and established syndicates, we can buy machinery and other modern equipment in bulk, distribute them to the farmers, and significantly expand production by it. Cool. Awesome. Um, I've already gone ahead and done anti-imperial trade packs, better consumer goods. Obviously, you see there's no description there, which does kind of suck, suck, but that's what, it is what it is. We can only get 2.25, 2.29 political power every single day because I'm doing recall on popular representatives to get more weekly stability. So stability is looking a lot better already. 74%, very strong. Uh, hello? Hello? Um, is this greater like Armenia or something here? Holy crap, what is going on here? Uh, they're accelerationists. Vel Ooh. I Italy and... Ooh, the French are allied here. Oh, that is not good. Well, I wasn't planning on this, but it is what it is. Let's go research something else ahead of time. Okay, then. Well, I, I guess after we establish Aguirre and Syndicates, we're going to try to join um, these guys. Prussian Congo unifies the Congo. Well, that's nice. Perhaps the safari has been tamed. Invite German advisors. Defend the revolution. Um... I don't know, man. I, at this point, I want to kind of join them. So, yeah, we'll, we'll build regional councils next. So then we get less political power gain, which is fine because we get so much already. We have almost a 300. Resource efficiency gain goes up by quite a bit. More factory repair speed and infrastructure construction speed plus 20% is very, very nice. So, why are they going to war with us? Enlighten the Persians. Chairman's reforms. Velimir Klub, uh, Klubnikov. Dynamic capitalism. Zalm is official language. Society of Chairman of the Earth. Jesus, what is that? What is all this stuff? Hopefully we can hold. Um, if that's the case, how many guns do we got? We have minus a thousand. Okay, we've got like none. Okay, then. Um, well, at least we got mobile defense. That's good. Let's see if we can use that stuff too. I hope we can hold. I really, really, really hope we can hold. Uh, all right. Well, you know, build some more millies then. Forty, perhaps. It's really a hundred percent. Oh, that's really nice. Hundred percent is really, really, really nice. Uh, generally, it'll be done in less than a month, actually, which is really good. And this is over a river as well. Oh, I did make a division here that's the Pure 20 Infantry combo with, but we literally only have, like, a single factory. So, we'll see. Yeah, we literally only have one military factory, so yeah, we'll see what happens here. That when we do bad concessions of soldiers, councils, we're kind of okay. We're already maxed out towards support, but second sessions of the Workers' Council. Uh, unlocks class struggle decisions, which allows you to exploit divisions in the Persian society to further your political go goals. Oh boy, here we go. All right, so if that's the case, because um, hmm, you guys are only 12 combat width. You guys are actually, ooh, 14. Hmm. I'm going to take you guys out, but I'm going to leave you out with just a few guys here because uh, they might naval invade us, and I really want to avoid that. So guys, head on down there. We can we, we can get our alliance kind of okay with me, just so that they might be baited into attacking us, maybe? I definitely want to join the Germans now. I mean, I guess technically... Wait. For some reason, I thought the Germans took these guys out. Well, I guess not. Happy 1939, everyone. That was a different campaign. That must have been a different campaign. Oh, look at that. Ernest Ebert Fromm. Look at him. That's got a nice chin. He's got a very nice chin, so... Yeah, that's just not going to be good for us. Well, at least we're on the ports. We've got four divisions here. One, two, three, four. Uh, really? Just do that one. There you go. Three. Just double up there for now. We should be okay. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm glad I looked back here. You have to hold, son. You have to hold immediately. This is not fair, man. What the heck? Well, so much for playing uh, Persia. We're kind of done now. <laughs> All right. Well, then, I guess we get better guns if we can immediately. Anything else here? Focus? Yes. Yeah, this fall, that's going to be really flipping bad for us. 
This should hold out fine. More than fine enough, actually. Over here, I'm just worried about this one. Because is this mountains? No, that's actually... Okay, so actually that's not too bad then. As long as we can hold here, that's probably the most important thing. Alright, just hold for now. Everyone hold. Everyone hold. Because you're a mountain, so you should be able to... How can you not hold? How can you not hold? Hold your butts. Seriously. Both of you hold. What is going on here? Yeah, okay, they got a lot of air. They got a lot of air. Okay, so I think this campaign's done then. You can't win as Iran. And we're trying to force a defense. But that's completely unfair. What the heck? Um, I might have to go back and redouble this then and look at this again. Because uh, this is completely unfair. This is 100% unfair. Like, what the heck? What are we supposed to do here? How much how much manpower do they have? Is there anything we can do? I don't think there is. No, like we, we only have one military factory, which I really don't think is fair for us. A single flipping military factory. I'll go to war economy. Um, extensive conscription. Uh, we're trying to build more military factories, but we're just not allowed to, really. I mean, I'm trying my best here, but what the heck? These guys throw on some artillery, I guess, if we can. But still, what the heck? Tehran would be good. I mean, there's nothing we can do. We have to literally put all these divisions on the front line. Is there anyone else have upgrades for the defense? If I knew this was going to happen, I would have given that guy more max entrenchment. Um, we need to join Germany as fast as possible. Aran ja der Thismerden. Transformation of Iran is complete. We have completed our desirable action towards internal structures of this place. Iran's future is truly bright. It is marching into the future where everyone is equal. Glory to Iran. Well, we'll see what happens, man. There ain't gar any guarantees right now. This ain't looking good, so... And we're really out of guns. It's super bad right now. Well, so far we seem to be holding, but god dang. Germany, please kill off the French in the polls. For the love of god. Please kill them off. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, you have like no manpower. Please, 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 please kill them off. I don't like this. I really don't like this. This is really bad. But at least, I mean, technically we're on defense on uh, core territory. But when the second meeting of the Workers' Council entered into session following the victory of Eskandadi and the Tude party earlier this year, one of the more prevalent issues and divisions within the Tude had become apparent, namely the question of moderation. The approach of the Tude had been asking or taking to the question of the management of Persia has been one of moderation. The Tude had since its exception been a party that was divided into two camps. The moderates, who argue that because Persia is an agrarian pre-industrial nation and therefore lacks a dominant industrial and urban proletariat, as a result, it is imperative to push for an agrarian-based platform and for agrarian reform throughout Persia. And radical socialists who believe that uh, believe that if socialism is to be truly successful and successfully developed in the nation of Persia, modernization and industrialization is a necessary step that must be taken in order to develop the productive forces of Persia as a whole and in doing so, secure the revolution from outside threats and advance the power of the proletariat and standard of living in the nation as a whole. The Tudor was therefore forced to, to toe the line between the two groups, pursuing a more moderate platform in an attempt to reach a settlement between the two factions in the days before the Civil War. This division had not been as dominant, but now with no immediate foe to unify against. The question of moder moderation has come up once again with the current path that Eskandari and the Tudor have been taking, failing to satisfy either party. The discontent is at this stage so great that the moderates have threatened to split the party, and their demands for the addressing of Agarian concerns are not addressed in the next set of economic plans. Eskandari has therefore mandated the total recall of all ministers back to their respective councils to ensure that there is an accurate representation of the will of the councils as a whole. After this process is complete, for now it remains to be seen which one of these factions shall end up dominating the workers' councils. But whatever the victor may be, it is certain that the destiny of Tuta shall be radically altered. Moderate? Encourage more drastic measures. Popular centralism? Um, I kind of like popular. I don't know. Just... Hmm. Liberation. Old borders. Is this a world revolution? <sighs> yeah, let's go radical. Why not? Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, oh my god, I hope we can win. I hope to god that we can win here. Someone, we gotta start praying to Allah a little harder now. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Please, please, please have something here. Um, We're doing okay. I want to go offensive doctrine, but... Mm, go ambusher. That should pretty much guarantee that we'll win here. Right, hopefully. As long as they naval invade us. Oh crap, that's not good. Oh boy. I'm gonna risk it. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, you know, let's go charismatic. I'm gonna go charismatic this time, actually. Get some more uh organization. 
I want them to suffer th more casualties than this crap. Come on. Make them suffer even more. All right. Oh, what is this? Oh, despite our efforts to create a class of society, the rest of divisions of society still occur. And will occur for a very long time. Whilst we deal with this issue, we can also consider exploiting these divisions in society to further our political agenda. Industrialists, daily political power, consumer goods factories go up, though. Construction speed goes up by quite a bit, though. Favored farmers. Uh, less lose political power, which is fine. Better consumer goods, more stability, daily popular social supports. And expanded urban zones. Less consumer goods, more research, facility, uh, research speed. Eh, I kind of for the, the farmer stuff, actually. Um, because we could still use more military factories. Let's be real. We need some. We seriously need a lot more military factories currently. We still might lose this town, which is gonna suck. My gosh, this is dumb. Just gonna beat the crap out of us like this. You have to be out of manpower by now. That's, that's completely unfair. Would I recommend Persia then if something like this happens? Probably not. Honestly, probably not. I'm only using them because they're really fast. Um, restore all borders. Disband the permanent revolution. Well, at least they're doing something over there, I guess. Yes, Italy. Thank God. Italy, help, help us out. We've got enough manpower. The manpower is not an issue. Gun situation is getting worse every single day. This is really bad for us. Construction 3 is nice, though. Pick up some of that. And liberation. I kind of want to do that. Five times. Well, I think maybe for this one, let's try to. Oh, I don't. I want. I want to conquer, but liberation sounds like fun. Um, we did persification, so let's do restore old borders. Five times be darned, Shah has lost lands belonging to the Persians. Uh, lands conquered by its warriors. He lost it because he was a reactionary who cared only for his throne. Those lands must be brought back under Iranian control. For wars of old did not die in vain. We'll see. We're getting a lot of war support. Oh, not war support. But a lot more, uh... Army XP. I couldn't think of the word there. Anything else here? War economy? Total mobilization actually might not be bad to go to. There's no one we can choose here, which really just sucks. Medium tanks? We could do heavy tanks, but I guess medium tanks? I'm really not sure what else we could do there, so... His mom was a hills fighter. That's good. Learn becoming a commando. Good, good, good. So after this one, we'll probably do the international leads away. In the birthplace of Marx, first social state lies. The state that started and supports international revolution. Truly, Iran must assign or assist in its righteous cause, in its path full of Marxism and socialism. Iran must join the international. Now, we're not going to do this because we need to keep doing our current production of stuff. Actually, let's buy one of these. Yes, Germany, please, 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 I guess radar, maybe? How many more military factories are we building right now? Two more, that's not bad. Oh, we got some server CVs too. That's pretty good. Ooh, that is not ideal. So now we should be producing at full strength. 28 guns a day is not enough, but hey, that's better than nothing. How many men have we lost? 45,000. That's insane. We've killed off 122,000, though. Not enough. Not enough. You should. Italy should be able to win. Italy should be able to win if France is trying to, you know, screw us in the booty. Austria's looking kind of. kind of langy, not gonna lie. 79% towards becoming an infantry leader. Good. Become an ambusher. There's still some comments to go through, but I'm just like, I'm just worried about this. Wow, this is... I don't know if I can recommend Iran, man. This isn't cool. How many how many guns do they, these guys have? Seriously. Where are they on? Free trade, volunteer only. How are they on volunteer only with that much manpower? How? How do they have any equipment left? Any planes left? Unfair, man. Unflippin' fair. Yeah, we're, we're joining. If France is at war with Italy and Germany, I think we'll be able to win this one. How many more days? Two days off. That's not bad. Oh, crap. They won there? Are you kidding me? I don't like this. I really don't like this path now. I really, really, really do not like this path. I cannot recommend this at all to anybody. This is this is frustrating. This is definitely 100% frustrating. Um... Actually, can we just add him in here? 
No. Mm. Let's remove that. Add in some more arty here. Can we actually do that then? Yeah, we can. That's actually a lot better then. Make them pay. Make them pay for every inch of land they want to take. That's looking... Al actually, 500 more guns is actually really nice. Are they all attacking here? Get the hell out then, you pieces of garbage. Hey, look at that. No, 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 no. I think we're okay, Germany. Yeah, we we'll go right here first. You should easily be able to win here. They're attacking us. You should easily, 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 easily be able to win. How are you not winning? This is pathetically stupid. They have no air support, and yet they're able to be still beat us up like this. That is so incredibly unfair. Yeah, I just can't recommend this path to anybody. I'm sorry, guys. Can't recommend this. I mean, look at that. That's ridiculous. How much manpower do they get? On volunteer only. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I just don't believe you. <laughs> this is dumb. This is really dumb. Madagascar? Uh, okay then. Uh, entrenchment speed might be good. Eh, I'll do that one first. I like that one. I generally prefer that one. I can go this one. Actually... Which one do we just do? Improvisation. Let's do Gorilla then. Do something opposite from that guy. Alright. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can go to war with other people. Remove his puppet. Oh, we can remove puppet and attack other people. Well, we can't really attack people now because we're getting our butts handed to us. So, yeah. Better Raider will be nice. Oh, this is not a fun path. I mean, just this type of crap that happens to us, not fun. I, I don't like this. I really don't like this. I mean, what are we supposed to do? There's nothing we can. There's literally nothing we can do. And they have infinite guns, infinite guns, infinite manpower. I mean, oh look, German Iranian commitment signed. Germany reluctant with the way we they would defend Iran from outside aggressors. Sent a telegram today that they will not allow full-time membership, but that Iran is completely welcome to represent its nation in the Congresses of the Third International. It'll have to do. Well, we got screwed. Well, we're dead. We're literally dead here. Um, yeah, we're dead. Uh, it's just a world revolution. Now that is Iran is a full member of the Internationale, we must assist other social states across the world. Persia will be modernized so they can truly help and not just be a liability. We're screwed. Yeah. We are completely screwed here. Thanks a lot, Germany. Thanks a lot. Thanks for nothing. I mean, just infinite manpower, infinite guns, you know. Just whatever this nation is. You let them over, you, you're pretty much done. Urban is 70%. How, what is that? Uh, yeah, you're just... We're basically done. How is this looking? Guns are looking so bad right now. Holy crap. Um, That's way too ahead of time. How many more? Okay, so gun-wise, we can actually do this one. That's fine. Do this. We need a little bit more steel, too. Keep, keep making more millies. Tehran is fine. 100%, and then do that one. Yeah, this sucks. This really sucks. Um, so after, I guess after that one, I guess we're going to do nationalize the oil industry. Uh, that's okay. We can get more max of Let's do modernization. I think that'll help us out, but that's going to take a while to get down to. Our army is an army at all. It simply is not modern. We need to improve it by all means possible. We need to take experience of European powers and apply to our own, so that our state can survive the future onslaught. Why'd you guys give up, huh? Why the hell did you guys give up? Such crap, man. Um, sure, return the Kurds to the fold. Do we get? Do we lose this war goal eventually? Hey, look, at least we got that one back. Maybe we can actually win here. I still don't think I would recommend this path to anybody, though. Still wouldn't. This world revolution. Get this one done. Modernization. Our guys just suck. And these divisions really aren't that bad, actually. I mean, some of them are like 14 combos, which are not very good, but still. Yeah, they suck. Just, just sit there. 
Uh, does, does this expire? No, it does not. That's good. Oh, wow, look at that. Assyria and Kurdistan killing each other. Germany. Fiume. <sighs> Can you just go to war with them, please? It's already November. It's already flipping November. Oh my god, Germany is pathetic. Mutilate Austria. Well, there goes those guys. Yep, we'll try it again. Try it again. Um, that's looking better. And we are making some support equipment now, which is actually kind of nice. That's actually somewhat nice. Pure infantry, throwing engineers. We don't got the guns for this, but it's alright. Okay, and then we'll do mass conscription. We cannot boast our army or boost our army with the tanks and mechanized infantry. We cannot have enough artillery to blast our enemies into oblivion. We cannot use trench warfare because it was ineffective as shown by Europeans. What we need is mass conscription. Well, I don't know about that, but you know what? We're trying it. We're trying it. I mean, my god. Four or five divisions can't kill the enemies off. This is this sucks. This really just sucks. Germany, just just stop sucking, please. Please stop sucking. Um, weekly stability would be nice, but I don't really need it. Get some, so get some more consumer goods. Uh, get some radar, actually. That actually might really help us out here. Modernization efforts, cool. And we'll grab mass conscription. Follow it up with... Uh, Arch Kyrgyzstan W. De Klan. Alright, I'm probably saying that all wrong, but it is what it is. Uh, army of workers and peasants, or army or people shall fight. They shall fight in the mountains and the beaches. Everywhere great Iran needs. Both peasant and worker will battle brothers. They shall fight and overcome together, living through hardships together, dying together, if need be. Oh, they fight. Oh, okay. You kill these guys off. Screw these guys. Force the attack. Kill every last one of these pieces of crap off. Uses every bad word available to kill them off. I don't care what happens. I'm taking all the land. Russia can go suck a fat one. We're taking everything we can here. Kill everything off. Kill them all off. You see people alive? No, they're dead. You kill every last sack of crap off. This is BS to us. Complete BS. You find them, you kill them. I don't care what happens. You force the attack. You find them, you kill them off. Force the attack. Force it, force it, force it, force it. And there was one common thing I should play is uh, Burma. Or do you a Burma or a Maimonar campaign, so we'll see. Maybe someday. You go in here. You kill these sacks of crap off. Russian Empire. What are they doing over here? Um, it's not enough. I mean, we've lost this. Do we have to teach you the same lesson too, Turkey? Go. I don't care. I, I, I legit don't care. Force the attack. If you die, I don't care. I really don't care at this point. There we go. Um, here. There we go. Just in case. All right. Just in case. Just in case. Then again, the Russians are probably going to attack us eventually too. Uh, are the Turks allied with anybody? I hope not. I really, really hope not. All right. Now we do this one too, so we can get some more max entrenchment. Follow it up with nationalized oil industry. All right. There's a pretty obvious reason why Britain dominated us, and that's because of all the oil we happen to have here. To be honest, however, we don't, they don't deserve it. It's on, it's on our land, after all. We've already drafting up legislation which declares every drop that black gold that to belong to the people. And from now on, any profits gained by the oil industry will go right back to them and further in the revolution. Nice. Since we're here, let's do this too. With these people, I mean, I, get, I treat them harsh. Like, I would just exterminate pretty much everyone here at this point. You try to attack us and treat us like crap, like this. And you want peace? You want peace? After you try to dominate us? Heck no. Why? You would never do that. Wow, this is, this is looking kind of funky. Germany, you're looking like a Third Reich if there ever was one. Yugoslavia is doing, putting in some work, though. Look at that. Third International? That Third International sucks, booty, man. We got cucked out of joining them. Um, hopefully here they will attack us like crazy, but actually being a piece is really nice right now. We need artillery, infantry equipment, and support equipment. We're actually looking a lot better than we did earlier, though, which is actually kind of reassuring. But yeah, I, I don't recommend anyone try this path. Or I mean, I guess you can if you want. I just... It's... It's... A lot more difficult than, a, than uh, it 
I don't know, maybe should be? I'm not really sure. Alright. Some of the comments, um, like I said, try to burn or mime in our campaign. Personification doesn't sound very good for a lot of people. Well, now it is what it is, you know. Um, try out the Cold War Iron Curtain mod. Yeah, I'd like to. I actually have the logo downloaded for my thumbnails, but we'll see. We'll get there eventually. Play as Anamu next or Yugoslavia? Actually, I should try Yugoslavia sometime. They sound like a lot of fun. We're, oh. Liberation Front. Hmm. Well, they're gone. Revolution Japan has done a really good job. Holy crap. Um, and... Someone asked, can we cheese the Civil War by deleting the entire divisions before the Civil War actually starts? You know, how I struggled yes in yesterday's video as well with trying to win the Civil War, which we won 100% legitimately and fairly, which I, I was ready to just use console commands, but whatever. Um, <laughs> at the end of there, pretty much. But yeah, I mean, maybe. Fighters, that'd be nice. Get some motorized just in case you could. Hey, guys, you're, you're justifying on us. You know what? We'll just find you then. Just in case. If they don't go to war with us, we'll go to war with them. Um, over here, uh, push Al Rak, Al Jazeera. Iraq probably would be good though. What actually, we do these guys. Turkestan Caspian Union? We try that. How strong are these guys? They're probably extremely strong, right? They're probably really extremely strong. Uh, screw it. I'm not even going to use that anymore. Get rid of these horse divisions. They're not very good. As much as I like using them, they're just not very good. We'll use whatever we have for now, but I'm not making any more of these guys. Alright, begin mass unionization. Not, nothing here. Okay, then. Um, followed up with invite German advisors. A bunch of losers. Many of our ministers have connections within Germany's institutions from their time in education. We should use these connections to arrange military adv advisors or military advice. Yeah, I don't like the Germans. The Germans suck. They didn't help us out. They betrayed us. They're enemies, literal enemies of the revolution now. Good. Whoa. There we go. Sure, guys, sure. Do we get more steel back? You know, I'd love to join your fed your thing. You, you know, oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. I don't think everything we can get. I'd love to join your faction, but I don't think we're allowed to, actually. It kind of sucks. Yugoslavia is kind of huge, Yugoslavia. Wow. I mean, you should have just accepted this, Germany. How many guys are here? Please let us win at least something here easily. Nuclear effort. Oh, we're probably going to lose. What are you, force attack? It's going to be costly, but whatever. I don't care. I'm the, at this point, I'm really not in the mood for, for any big struggles here. We'll try the best we can, but still. Ashkabat, huh? All right, about a week left for that. That one's almost done as well. I do want to. Oh, okay. Can we personificate them? Yeah, personification of the Turks. The disunity of the Iranian peoples is a tragedy, one that can be remedied with establishing Farsi as a lingua franca throughout the country. Local autonomies aside, there must be a Farsi standardization of the bureaucracy, education, economy, military. Oh, get cards on them. Look at that. Nice. That's actually really, really awesome. Okay, get some of that too. Oh, hello, we got more? There you go, try that. Try that. Try on that. For size. Cool. And about German advisors, those pieces of garbage. I really don't like them, as you can tell. And we have every right to not like them. Afghanistan, though, is quite large, and they'll probably be actually quite difficult to take out. I don't think I'm really interested in taking them out right now, so, yeah. Come on. Come kill us. Come kill us, you pieces of garbage. You want to go to war with us? Bring it on, you piece of poo poo. And there they go. Uh, armor's a nice smell, but we can't really afford that right now. How much support equipment do we have? None. All right, then. Oh, that's good to get. Actually, let's grab some anti-air. That'd be good. Guns are good. Artillery's looking really awesome, too. Huh. 
I'd love that 40 combo with, but that's probably a really bad idea. Actually, go to horses. All right, go shuck and all. That'd be good. Oh, how many Turks are we going to kill in this war? 88,000 so far. Jesus Christ. I'd like to invade Iraq, but there probably have quite a few guys here. Oh, look at this. Nice. Um, Goldnaz? Goldnaz? Are you? You look like Scarlett Johansson. Alright, well, we'll send you in. Good luck. Don't die. Don't die too hard over there. And defend the revolution. Alright, nothing there. Follow it up with... Uh, in the skies? On the seas. I guess we'll do that one. There's nothing there, too. Alright, then. Do we really see how many divisions they have? Because I'd love to be able to just push in. They have up to 13. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, they're puppet though. What the heck? So he's bad. Okay, so he's Baghdad and Karbala. What do we have up here? Kurdistan? Yeah, eventually. Nice. I'll do the first. You go die now. Just go in. Just I don't want to deal with this. Let them let them kill themselves on the line and let them lose a l look at our veterans. That's nice. Hey, it's a whole fire now. Good job, dude. Good job. Apologies for the rage earlier, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm just not in the mood to deal with any of this crap then. If it's going to be like this. Holy crud. That is ridiculous. We have to fight, the, what, the entire Third International? Not Third International. The Avant Garde League Solar, I think. It's like, something like that. A little crazy. Whoa! How, how, how can you do that? No, 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 no. I hope Italy goes to war with these guys too. Oh yeah, please beat the living crap out of the French. I'm rooting so hard for the Germans, even though they're a bunch of losers. Well, not in real life, but you know, this, in this timeline right now. But, but Jesus, Where's this one. Al Jazeera, Afghanistani, Dania. There goes the Finns. Oh boy. Germany, please. You out of manpower, please. Please, Germany. <laughs> You're in extensive conscription. How are they only on volunteer only with the million manpower? Yeah. Balance? Man, I don't know, man. There might be balance here. I have no idea. I got, like, I have no idea. I just have, I have no idea what to think anymore. More entrenchment, though. That's what I know. Uh, do we can persify them? Political actions? N no? Persification? What happened to persification ideas? Do those just disappear or something? Now, this is going to extend our border with the Turks, but that's okay. Don't attack him, you dingus. On the seas. I guess we'll do the Gulf is ours. All right. Cancel on these, whatever. Throw them in there too if you can. So far, doing okay, but. All right, wait, we can do the Kurds and then these guys, the Syrians. Okay, well, we'll do both. It's fine. Now they're definitely spread out. Our guys are more spread out too, but that's fine, whatever. Um, cool. I guess we'll try to get 100% here. Why not? Can we get 100%? What happens when you get there? It costs a lot of PP, but we got a lot of PP anyway, so. Alright, we're at 100%. Look at that. Not bad. How much equipment are. Wow, well, that's a lot of guns and artillery now. Holy crap. Wow. That's a lot more than I was expecting. Holy smoky daddies. Jesus Christ. That's pretty good. Obviously, it extends our border with the uh, Turks quite a bit more, but you know, it is what it is, whatever. Don't really care. You should easily be able to win. What? What? Why are you just standing there? Like, I don't understand the AI sometimes, man. That's just real dumb. Real dumb. Uh 
Now the season is nice. The golf is ours. Al Jazeera. Please no one invade us, please. Persian Gulf, hopefully now. Oh, that too. Here. Send you guys over here too. That'd be good. Go over here first. I just want you to help protect the line so they don't actually invade us for now. Um Pacification? Yeah, why not? It's cool territory for us. Engineers, nice. Forty one, happy nineteen forty one, everyone. Cool. Anything else? Uh, we could probably really screw ourselves up here and do this. Germany's probably going to die, though. I'll be honest. Germany's probably going to die. Um, the Gulf is ours. Stuff of shred wings. Here. There's a guarantee future security, but it has to be 1944. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's literally all we have for Iran. And if Germany dies, like, well, we're, we're literally completely screwed. But if Germany does well, who's this? Is that Brazil? That might be Brazil. Please, Germany, please mobilize more. Please, please, please. Okay, they are. That's good. That's good. And France is losing more manpower, but they're going to have to mobilize too eventually, which is fine. I do apologize earlier, but my god, like that was insanely bad earlier. Holy crud. Can you guys... I don't believe you can win. I really don't believe you can win immediately like this. I really just don't believe you. Yeah, that... Yeah, no. Oof. Oh, let's figure out what they got. How strong... These guys are probably pretty strong too. Um, that's quite a while. That's more than 100 days, but not that much manpower. Yukutia? No idea about these guys? Alright, well, we'll send you in too. Why not? Send you probably to die in Damascus. It's okay. You're expendable. It's probably what you didn't want to hear, but whatever. Alright, so we've got five more days for that. Oh, hello. Well, that's not quite ideal, now is it? The golf is ours, all right, and then in the skies. Why not? There you go. Hmm. Looking very good here. We even have an air force. Holy crap! Fighting toe to toe with the Turks, eh? Boys, can you can you move y'all y'all big old booties, y'all big old chonkers around there? I greatly appreciate it. Heck, we can probably do this too. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that one yet. I want to throw on recon for these guys too first. Uh, throw on logistics, throw on anti-air, and throw on some recon. It's going to be costly, but we can afford it probably eventually. Just a little more support equipment will be fine. You're not allowed to die. Well, actually, you are allowed to die. Just don't lose. How much manpower do these guys have? Not that much, actually. Stockpile is a bit too much, probably. Probably a bit too much. Alright then, if you're still watching, thank you very much for watching. Like, even through my frustration, I do appreciate you guys watching, so. Improved anti ah Oh, let's get some more. Oh, yeah. Do that, baby. Do that. Hit them harder. When in doubt, what do you do with them? You hit them harder. Actually, you probably go close economy as well. Yeah, close economy. We can slightly save some more steel. Slightly. Wow. I don't want to trade Germany. These, those were a bunch of losers towards us. They didn't let us in that little group there. Why would we want to be with those guys? When they choose like garbage, you know? Why? Wow. Looking pretty rough here. Not gonna lie. Turks have got to go. But then again, I don't know. We'll actually take them out. We'll see. Cool. Alright, into the skies. Oh, Cypher. I guess we got that one done. Stab Shred Wings. Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, dockyards, look at that. Here, we'll prove a light ship pull. Because even though we blew them all, <laughs> blew all of our ships earlier, apparently. But only make one. Because we're going to get some naval XP, I guess. Uh, sure, guys, sure, why not? Alright. Nice. Whoa, 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 I want both of you guys here. We definitely need both of you here. Um, I guess, you know what? It's 41. We're better fighters, then. See what we can do. I'd love to be able to kill the trucks, but we're just too weak over here. 
Well, we could go to war with these guys. We'll probably lose, though. We could try it, though. I mean, I guess we could go to war with Afghanistan, too, but... I'm not really seeing too much here, honestly. What else we can do? I, I, I really don't believe them when they say we can win here. I really don't. But, you know, I've been wrong before. Force it. Let's go, boys. Let's go. More artillery. Look at that. Wow. We're actually beating Turks here. You know, can we actually go in? This is strange. I should not have gone to war with these guys first, but whatever. Alright. I mean, we're doing okay-ish. They're out of map. Are any damage you do? They well, hold on. They are mobilizing a little bit more, but I guess we'll do... I guess nothing else, because uh, we ran out of things to do until 1944, which I don't understand why we have to wait until 1944. I, under I guess I see, like, they've got to wait a little bit first, just because you don't want anyone to get nuclear tech too early on. But at the same time, that that's not going to help anybody. Who plays Red Flood until 1944? Oh, now they're attacking us. Okay. Um, that's not good. Hmm. I guess technically we do it like this. There you go. Try that. Maybe we'll go offensive next, maybe. Wow, these guys are lo not looking good either. You guys can probably do very well here, actually. Yeah, help them out, help them out, help them out. Turks aren't doing so well, which is fine with us. You guys actually pushed down. I'd love to get here, but we're just not strong enough yet. We're probably not going to win there, but I've been wrong before. We get Cyphers going. We'll do probably pretty darn well. Uh, actually, what do we not have enough of? Anti-air motorized support equipment. So we got production. Some more extraction because we could use it, really. I'll go here. Al Oraka. Well then. Still kind of attacking us. Kind of like it. Kind of like it a lot. Improved anti air. Want better artillery. I just want a load of artillery. Loads and loads and loads of artillery. You should be able to win here. Why are our enemies so weak sometimes? Oh, yes, please. Adaptable. Once again, I apologize for the rage earlier, but I think it was justified. I think it was really justified from all the crap we had to deal with earlier. Once we go here, we're going to do a general attack. We're going to go all out. Especially against these guys. If we can mop up these guys, we can take out the Turks. I'm more than confident that we can. Let's go. Let's flip and go. Oh, I guess you're not the exact one, but whatever. Let's go, boys. Hey, look at that. Nice. We're doing pretty darn well. Do we have any... Bombers? Cass? That'd probably be pretty useful, right? Go down by five, maybe? Share the wealth, you know, share the wealth program. Overall, we... I don't know. Like I said earlier, I, I don't know if I can really recommend this. There's not, I mean, I guess you could try if, you, if you're kind of bored, but there's not... There's just not a lot here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying this now, after we suffered such... Such a bunch of crap earlier, but still. They have a lot of guns. These guys have no gun, nothing. They have no man, they have literally nothing. No manpower. The more we attack, the more they die. So that's good to see. Um, there you go. Very, very nice. I'm really disappointed that we can't do anything else here. Uh, let's see. What about this stuff? Suppress so subjects. Construction repair. Resistance striking. Army training. Uh, that's not bad actually. Air production. Nope. Well, I guess resistance suppression. I, I suppose. Look at those guys. They're literally just going to be dying here. Keep going, keep going. None of our enemies literally have manpower left. Damascus will be ours. Will be ours. That's definitely not how I wanted this campaign to go, man. Definitely, 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 definitely not. They're literally just, like, gonna die there or something. I don't know. We got Damascus. Yay. Damascus. 
How far down do it go to capitulate them? Ah, Aleppo. Everyone's favorite city or town, whatever. Keep going. Don't let up. Don't let up. Getting closer. We got him. Series ours. We've reached the Mediterranean, boys. Now, let's go in and do this. Let's go. Let's go. Immediately go in. Force it. Force it. Force it. I don't care what happens. Force him to die, or you die. It's either or. Doesn't matter to me. We've got air superiority. These pieces of crap wanted to do this type of stuff earlier. I... Fine with me, so be it. So flippin' be it. Oh, now we got another one we can use. That's good. That's actually really good. Uh, that's the only place we can do here. That's kind of disappointing, honestly. Get rid of the Turks. They've got literally nothing to fight with except like 3,000, 3,000 men. No more equipment. I mean, then again, our equipment is not looking good either. Oh, they died. They actually flippin' died. Thank God Germany could actually do something. Screw Germany, though. They did not let us go and join their faction. You pieces of garbage. Wow, that's a lot of score. Holy crap. Why do we need so much score to give them this? I'll give it to Germany because we don't want it, but, like, holy crud. I apologize for the clicking, but, uh... Yeah, I, this is definitely not a, the way I wanted this campaign to go. I mean, I had no idea what this campaign was going to be like. I just knew that people want me to play, you know, Iran or Persia and try them out. And, you know, I'm glad I did, but... I don't know if I can still recommend them. <laughs> I know I said that a whole bunch, but still. Wait. Wait, why do... Can I not get... Alright. Um, I didn't want to take all these guys, but we're literally forced to. Like, I... I, I literally can't click on that stuff. That makes literally no sense why. Is it because I played the peace conferences on or something? There goes the manpower. And guns. Well, screw you, Germany. Screw you. You deserve nothing. And if you get anything from that, you still deserve nothing. Force it. The trucks are done. The trucks are done. I'll give this one to the Zeris. Nice. So we need some more command power, of course. We need some political power, which is fine. We probably have no 30... Well, actually, no manpower now. Um, well, all adults serve. More military factories? Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Don't really care. And we'll do another land auction too, so. Nice. I mean, how many have we killed off? Two-thirds of a million, almost. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Turkey. You weren't supposed to suck this hard. But I think that's going to be the campaign, because I need to take a break from this. And there's really just not much else here. There's really not, nothing else here. I mean, I guess we do this one, too. I guess we do FA. And uh, focus dot no checks. Guarantee future security. There you go. But I guess that's it. Social Iran was a massive pain in the butt. But, uh, hey, it's done. It's over. I guess technically we're... Are we still at war? Uh, we got a lot of resistance occupation. I don't understand why we just can't you know, peacefully, like, leave. I guess I go, we could still go to Dinia and Afghanistan, but I don't think there's anything there. I could be wrong about that, but I'm not interested in finishing it out. But, hey, if you enjoyed the, the short little campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow um, in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.